Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Wednesday, September 25th. Investigators say candles ignited this apartment fly fire in Newark, Delaware. Chopper 3 over Country Club Drive as flames shot through the roof of the apartment building. The fire started on the first floor around 6 o'clock last night. Everyone did make it out safely, but fire officials say at least three apartments were ruled complete losses because of water, roof, or floor damage. The Red Cross is helping five displaced families. Investigators say the fire caused an estimated $1 million in damage. Authorities telling CBS3 the man accused of going on a joyride in a stolen ambulance last night likely will not face charges because of his mental health condition. Police stopped the ambulance on Broad and Christian Streets. Investigators say the man swiped it from the Methodist Hospital on South Broad Street just after 9 o'clock last night. He told officers he was scheduled to do some runs with the fire department. No patients were on board. And Bill Cosby marks his first year in jail today, and now we know he faces a $2.75 million legal bill. The 82-year-old disgraced comedian is serving three to ten years for drugging and molesting Temple employee Andrea Constand back in 2004. He's now appealing that conviction. The $2.75 million bill is just one firm involved in his sexual assault trial. Cosby's spokesperson says Cosby spends his time mentoring other inmates while behind bars. And now let's get a check of the eyewitness weather forecast. Here is meteorologist Matt Peterson. Matt. Hey there, Janelle. It's going to be a warm day for us today across the Delaware Valley for our Wednesday with plenty of sunshine. It's going to get even hotter then as we get into the second half of the work week. So high pressure will slide off to our south. We'll watch for some southwesterly winds today to help warm us up to about 80 degrees or so. On Thursday, a weak front is going to slowly work its way across. That could bring some scattered showers, maybe even an isolated rumble of thunder to the area, especially in the afternoon. But then by Friday, the sunshine will return. So it is going to be muggy at times the next couple of afternoons. Afternoons. Today and Friday will be relatively comfortable, but Thursday and the weekend dew points well back up into the 60s, making it feel more like summer than like the fall. Our high today, 80 degrees underneath that sunshine, that scattered shower and thunderstorm activity for our Thursday comes with a high temperature of 85 degrees. Much more comfortable there on Friday as well, 79. Hot and steamy on Saturday and Sunday and in the mid to high 80s there. And then it does cool off a little bit, or at least tries to, Janelle, for the start of next work week. All right, sounds good, Matt. Thank you. And remember, you can always get Matt's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That is the latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Hope you have a great day.